The most single I've ever felt, I guess right now. <laughs> Lonely. The most single I've ever felt was season two of RuPaul's Drag Race. I got third place twice. That's like being, that's not even being like single, that's being like the third wheel, twice. You know, I was a closeted homosexual, so I'd always have to make excuses of, oh, I have to go home to see the family. Oh, you know, I'm very religious. So that was probably the most lonely I ever felt was on the road with NSYNC. The most single I ever felt was when I got dumped after a five-year relationship on the phone. Classy. Five years. On the phone. I said, but I got tickets for us to see Rent. I think that when people are single, they, they should stop trying to force a relationship. You should never force yourself to love somebody because that's not love, honey. That, that's codependency. You depend on pills. You don't depend on people. What's worse than like, you complete me. Like you should be a complete course yourself. You should be a fully realized idea. Like it shouldn't be like you're mashed potatoes and I'm the steak. No bitch, I'm a steak and you're lobster. We're surf and turf. Individually, we are two great meals and together we complement each other really well. But we you shouldn't complete me. We are both entire meals that happen to taste good together. I've been in relationships where I could literally hardly go to the bathroom by myself. And now I'm a free man. So obviously I'm not single. But if I were single, I'd be the biggest slut. So I miss being a slut. <laughs> I like to be able to do what I want with who I wanted, whenever I wanted and where I wanted. It was great. Then I got herpes, so. Well, back in the day, I was kind of known as that guy that made out with all of his friends when they had a little too much to drink. Girls and guys, you know, I, I was open to everyone. I don't do that quite much these days in front of my husband. If you can handle me at level 12, you can definitely handle me at my usual level five or six. Anything I would do normally, I would do in front of someone I was dating. That's probably why I'm not dating anyone, because I keep doing all that stuff in front of people. You know what I mean? This feels very Super Soul Sundays with Oprah.